Okay, I'm recording now. Um, so what if I have this feeling that, or if I was asked this question, like um, there's, this, um, there's this signal to, to move to another location, but there's fear of moving. Um, and uh, if it's fear of moving, should I just go and move to the other place? I mean, the thing I always try and do when there's fear and making a choice, is try, you know, I always think, look, if I'm in, in a lot of fear around something, then obviously my vibration is, isn't very high, or at least my connection to divine intuition isn't, isn't the greatest. So I'm more like resonating in consciousness at fear and indecision or whatever it is. Like, uh, uh, should I move or should I not move? I, have I got fear? And is my fear stopping me from moving when I should be moving and my spirit wants me to move? So what do I do in this situation? Well, what I, I tend to do is I sort of look at it from um, levels of consciousness. If I'm vibrating at fear, it's probably a good thing to spend whatever time I can to um, resolve that fear through feeling the feelings, cancelling beliefs, surrendering the decision into God's infinite light and love, uh, praying for a miracle to see the situation differently, by just speaking to people who might be my spiritual advisors or guides around the situation, just spend that time trying to raise my vibration. Rather, uh, so I'm, you know, depending on what seems what I can give, I might spend a few days, a few weeks, a few months just sitting with my fear and trying to feel it out so I can get to a higher vibration. You know, can I get to a place of one of the things, um, you know, what Hawkins talked about was can I get to a place of neutrality? which is quite a powerful place of resolution within my consciousness. Like, can I do enough processing, feeling the fear out, cancelling beliefs, God did not create an indecision, so it's not real. Place the whole uh, decision of what I should do into God's hands. And, um, so can I keep doing that and, and get to a place where I get to a place of neutrality around it or like indifference? Like, you know, I'm, I'm happy where I am and if I move, I'll be happy and it's great whatever, whatever happens because I'm happy. Uh, and uh, so I know if I can get to that place and resolve it before making the choice um, and then I'll do it. I remember uh, one of the mechanisms I use for myself is if I'm struggling with something, I mean, being, a, you know, having this thing of wanting to buy things on the internet you know, on Amazon, whatever it is, I'll, I'll do this thing. Well, if I want to buy it, I'm going to feel my feelings and transcend it. And when I get to a place of neutrality, if I still want to buy it, fine, let me go and buy that item because, I, you know, I've more or less got the growth out of transcending the need to do it or any sort of fears of doing it or not doing it. So that's one of the things. But I always think that if I can do some clearing before making an important decision, especially if I was going to move, I'd want to do as much clearing to get to the highest vibration and then make the choice from that. Also the thing is like when I'm in my thinking and a lot of fear, it's more, more the influences of my ego in making choices. When I do a lot of clearing around something, there's a great likelihood of the attractive field or the dominance of the spirit or synchronicities or miracles pointing me and taking me in the, in the right direction. So those would be some of the factors, but I usually try and do a bit of clearing if I have the time. Well, and willingness to do it. Okay, I'm going to stop.